please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to click on the button that looks like a little bell so you can receive notifications every time we post new videos on the YouTube channel. We help you, we help the community, and let's spread the arts to everyone. Us. What do you suggest uh, people like that train jiu-jitsu, how they, they could start learning like wrestling and improve their takedowns for the Nogi game? Well, there's, there's, this is like a multifaceted question. I mean, like, you just have to put your, you have to, first of all, you have to have your mind ready to do it, right? You have to like make your mind up. It's like, you know what, if I want to make it to the next level, I have to work on my wrestling, obviously, right? Yeah. Um, and that's just the thing. Like, if you start, the, the fight starts on the feet, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, you go, you shake each other's hand, and then the ref says go, and then, you know, bam, mm -hmm. one guy pulls guard, maybe one guy doesn't, right? But yeah. it's like, for me, I think you have to, like, want to get the takedown, mm -hmm. right? So, um, so, first of all, you have to have your mind ready to do it. You have to make your mind, have your mind made up that you want to get the tech, you know, that you want to wrestle and get better at it. Mm -hmm. Two, um, you have to like, I think as a beginner, um, like a white belt or a blue belt, even some purple belts um, at the beginning of their career, um, they have to learn the basis first. They have yeah. to, I think hand fighting is important. I think that's yeah. the first thing a person needs to learn. First. A lot of people don't know how to do it. Just... Before you even do a shot, yeah. I think you need to learn how to hand fight because if you don't hand fight, you can't put yourself in a position to even mm -hmm. get a takedown. Yeah. That's all hand fighting is. It's Hand fighting is for two things, from my point of view. is to put yourself in a position to get a takedown, and two, to get your opponent tired. And if you can get your opponent tired, then mm -hmm. you can get him out of position yeah. faster wow. so you can get the takedown. So your setups become better. Mm -hmm. So hand fighting creates setup opportunities those setup opportunities create the position for you to get. Mm -hmm. So I think like before, um, before you can even learn like a good double leg or single leg, like mm -hmm. the hand fighting has to come first. Yeah. So I would say like work on hand fighting. When you work on hand fighting, then learn how to like get the proper tie ups. There's so many different type of tie ups. Mm -hmm. um, then you start developing those. And once you develop tie ups, then you can start working on like different setups and once mm -hmm. you work on setups then you got like okay i could do this double leg from here yeah. i can do this single leg from here then i got these different finishes i mean there's yeah. tons of different double legs tons of different single legs tons of different finishes for each one of those mm -hmm. i mean wrestling is complex actually yeah very complex but it can be easy and simplified yeah and hand fighting does that mm -hmm. you just have to have yourself in a good environment or seek out a good coach yeah, yeah. Or a good a wrestling coach or a mm -hmm. good team that like, especially if you jujitsu team, and I think those teams should find good coaches, good wrestling coaches that can teach them, like but literally coach, basics. I, this is my opinion. I I think first of all, I feel really blessed to have you, right? Yeah, really <laughs> blessed because look, you're black belt in jujitsu. So when you start teaching me here, uh, back in 2013, it's been like seven, eight years that I'm training with you. Yeah. Seven years, so we 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 won uh, all my super fights with together. Yeah, like all of, against Braulio. I started work with you against Braulio, then against Cyborg, then against Galzans, then Felipe Pena. So um, and a lot of people are like, oh, you know, you just hand fight this and that. You know, like man, you do your wrestling, but man. In JGCC super fight, you can't pull guard. You know, you can actually, but you're gonna get a minus yeah, exactly. one. You know, so. I gotta work on my wrestling, right? So, and then in all the fights, I completely dominate all these opponents, right? But I feel that when I see like people working uh, with other wrestling coaches, not Coach Fred, right? There's like, only yeah, one of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, like the thing is, Coach, you can get a really good coach, a wrestling coach, mm -hmm. but it's hard to find a good wrestling coach that knows jujitsu. And that's that's the right? difference. Yeah. yeah like, a lot of these guys, they, they have wrestling coaches, but the coach is just wrestling. You know, they just like a wrestling coach. Then they don't know the jujitsu. They don't know like like the guillotine concept. Like they don't know what can happen like after you take the person yeah. down. So they don't understand, right? 
And I think like it's very important to do wrestling for jiu-jitsu, you know, not the wrestling wrestling. Yeah, you know? yeah. it's different. It's definitely yeah, different. It's a wrestling for jiu-jitsu, right? Because th that's why here the way I teach the wrestling, from my experience, like doing a lot of years of MMA and then a lot of years. Of yeah, you have experience. How many fights MMA you have, coach? Oh, like over forty. Forty yeah, fights MMA. I used to fight MMA back Damn. in the day when like we used to do tournaments, like three fights in one night type thing. When it was like illegal. My God. <laughs> I remember fighting in Mexico and bull, ring, bull, bull arenas wow, and like wow. just all over the world. But do you have a share dog coach if they put like your yeah, name they, there? Yeah, not all, what a share not dog all my fights yeah. on there, but like probably like a majority of them were. Yeah, he's right there, right? Yeah. Wow. But like for instance, like so for me, wrestling for jujitsu is different. Yeah. Like, and that's what I developed. I think yeah. from my experience, I was like, look, certain things I do in regular wrestling. Like, you can get away with so much because only wrestlers react like wrestlers. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, and jiu-jitsu, like... Also, we don't wear the shoes. Yeah. Oh, that's... And I, that's, that's a lot weird. of wrestlers, coach, they teach things that, oh, grab right here. Like, but yeah. But it's the very shoes slippery. create so much, like, traction yeah, and, and grip, grip yeah. right? But wrestling for jiu-jitsu is totally different. And I realized that after probably, like, my third or fourth year of, like, training jiu-jitsu, I realized that, like... I can't shoot a double way, a double leg this particular way compared to uh, the way I would in regular wrestling. Mm -hmm. so because if, if I shoot a certain way, maybe I get out of position, I shoot a double leg, maybe like my posture is kind of off, then I can get guillotine really easy. In yeah. wrestling, like if my posture is off and I shoot a double leg and my both knees are on the floor, I can make up for that and cut the corner and not get choked. Yeah. Right? But in jiu jitsu, yeah. you have to like. Man, it's, it's just a different... There's a lot of scrambles after the takedown. Crazy scrambles. Right? I mean, you can get caught like in... I can shoot a perfect... I remember I used to shoot like double legs on guys. Like when I first started MMA, like beautiful double legs. And as soon as like my knees touch the floor, guillotine. <laughs> or I get comored because my hands be yeah. on the floor after I yeah. hit a double leg. Or, you know, so yeah. it's like... Or they scramble like the reverse triangles. Oh, man. Like all these things. It's just crazy stuff. Yeah, I think like... Yeah, like for you guys, you guys don't know that, but Coach Fred, he's releasing his first instructional uh bjj fanatics uh, it's coming up soon you guys can uh if if we if we have that you know right before we we post this like you guys can check on the link uh below on the description but if not like he's coming up it's coming up uh, he did a instructional like really basic stuff right Coach? yeah yeah really it's just like stuff. literally for wow. for beginners like um concepts and you know tie-ups setups um mm -hmm. for beginners you know yeah, somebody from like a white belt and you pretend to do more right yeah we do yeah we did we did like some other things in there too mm -hmm. um but i have a lot more coming out you okay. know different different yeah. courses that we're going to yeah. be doing that'll be great uh from intermediate level to nice. advanced level yeah that's awesome um but don't get me wrong the beginner series that i just started um i think a high level jujitsu guy can definitely like get some kind of and that's another out. problem coach because I had other wrestling coaches, right? Like, thankfully, man, thankfully, I had my first wrestling coach here was, of course, I started learning wrestling here in the United States, right? In Brazil, we don't have wrestling. We have Wesley. I still yeah. have Wesley. We don't say, we don't know how to say wrestling or we say Wesley. So, <laughs> So we have Wesley there. But don't feel bad because my yeah. mom, like, she, she can't even say wrestling. Still. I know. She'd be like, you still be wrestling? <laughs> wrestling. I'm like, no, mom, it's wrestling. Yeah. But you know, Coach. Um, I love you, mom. <laughs> shout out. So, Coach, uh, what is her name? Charlene. Charlene. Shout out, Charlene. <laughs> Mrs. Charlene. So, um, man, I think, like, I have this coach, like, Justin. He used to teach on uh, high school. Mm -hmm. He was a high school wrestling. I remember, like, he came and then he has a really good methodology as well. Like when I compete my first, not my first, if they just said I won double gold, that everybody was like, oh my God, the okay. Galvons wrestling is different. Oh my God, what happened? So it was Justin, shout out Justin. Justin right now, is, he lives in Austin, I believe, right now. Uh, he's in somewhere in Texas. But I had Justin and I had Ender. Mm -hmm. Ender. I remember Ender. You look, you look at Ender, he just like Tokino. He looks like party artist. <laughs> Same frame, you know? Yeah. And and I uh, had another guy, Josh. This guy, Josh, was like 6'5", long arms and, and kind of like long limbs and, and not like that strong, you know, yeah. but long, super long guy, you know? It was a perfect camp. Like, Justin was like short and fast. Ender was just like Tokino. 
Justin, Justin. Justin, man, yeah. Like, I, I think you never met him, coach. What's his, did he train, like, jiu-jitsu too? Nah, I think he's a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. I think, if I'm not wrong. And Ender, like, he, Ender trained jiu-jitsu with us for a while, and then he ended up going to, um, he, he ended up going to the army, and then he moved to Germany, and then I kind of, like, see him, like, once in a while. Yeah. And I have another, this guy, Josh, but Josh... I don't know where is Josh right now. He looks like Josh Barnett, but he's skinnier. <laughs> you know, like really big and tall, but like not like that buff. Yeah. Like it was perfect, you know. And he actually the, he was he's the one that that taught me like uh, how to catch the legs and run and make transitions, right? Yeah. But I remember like they taught me like really basic stuff, really big stuff. And and I had other wrestling coach like before I start working with you. I had like one or two guys, and then. They always like trying to show like fancy stuff because maybe they think like, oh, you know, these guys are black belts, high level jiu jitsu fighters. I gotta show them like something like cool, right? But then you came and then you start showing me like, all right, that's how you hand fight. All right, that's how you your stance. Uh, that's your up and down motion. That's how you walk. Yeah. So I start like, okay, you know, of course, when I'm training here, like, uh, it's not like DCC camp. I'm just having fun. It's yeah. different, right? I'm just having fun. I pull people guard, you know. Mm -hmm. But I know during the DCC camp is different. You know? I, I put myself there, it's like a meat grinder. Man. Yeah, it's, after. it's different, right? But yeah, so you taught me like pretty much how to walk, how to hand fight. That my hand fight like came from you, and like the blast doubles, like all that. Like it was, it, it was a, a game change, you know. And I feel that a lot of coaches they they don't have that thing where. They go like they build up step by step, you know, step by step. And then sometimes, like here at Atos, for example, we have a lot of guys that are great in wrestling. But They're amazing wrestling, you know, amazing wrestlers, right? And then sometimes they just like, okay, like, yeah, I know this already, right? But they they still repeating, they still drilling that, they're still doing that. So I think the basics are super super important, mm -hmm. and and a lot of people they miss that, you know. It's so overlooked. You yeah. Know? Like they think, oh, just because it's basic, I don't need yeah. to learn it. I don't need to, you know, focus on it. Yeah. Because I know more already. But no, the basis is the beginning of everything. Yeah. If you have the basics and you master those, yeah. like truly truly master the basics. I mean. As basic as hand fighting is, like most people just don't do it still, even to this day. I mean, yeah. you can go to a high level tournament, a jiu jitsu tournament, and still see pretty much the only people that really hand fight is us. Exactly. And yes, do it well. You see Kaina with Rodolfo? Oh, yeah. Ba, ba, boom, boom, boom. Just, <laughs> it was like a hand fight win. And you then know? The, the elbow throw by, you know, yeah. it's like, it's hand fighting is everything I cannot stress they, you know they're calling this like the Atos hand fight or something like <laughs> they call it like Atos club whatever yeah, yeah. that's what they call right now because <laughs> all of us do that you know? it wins Yeah. and one of the reasons why I think I really wanted to do that here is because that's just the way I was brought up like again my, my last coach in college wrestled for Dan Gable mm -hmm. in, at Iowa his name was David Ray but coach don't be wrong like I sometimes don't let me be wrong here, right? But sometimes I have wrestlers, they come here and visit me. They're like, man, you hand fight like a wrestler. You know, when I roll with them. Like, and then and then I I, I don't feel them hand fight me as you hand fight me. You know, even wrestlers, a lot of them, they don't know like exactly yeah. the proper way e to hand fight. Even some of them, right? yeah. Even some, I mean, even like really good wrestlers yeah. don't hand fight because a lot of people don't like hand fighting, you know, because it makes them tired. Yeah. And it takes a lot of energy too. Yeah. Not only do you make your opponent tired if you're really good at hand fighting, but it, it takes a lot of resources from you as well. Yeah. Like you have to be in shape to hand fight. Mm -hmm. um, and I think like even some wrestlers, like really good ones, man, like, I wasn't always a hand fighter. Mm -hmm. I was one of those, like, we call it, like, uh, I was a finesse wrestler. Man. I was one of those ones oh, that really? was slick and yeah. hit fancy things and always shoot from the outside. But when I, like I said, my last wrestling coach. You're a snap down coach. Oh, man. I want to, oh, I, I, I wish I could <laughs> snap down like you. Coach Fred, when you snap down people, it's like, I feel like, the guy goes with the head through the mat. Like it looks like his head disappeared. <laughs> it's like a like a what is the name of the animal that put the head inside the, the hole? Uh, yeah, I forgot it. Like an ostrich. Like you make the guy looks like an ostrich. Like, oh, I'm like 
No, but my, my last coach in college was, you know, he wrestled for Gable, and Dan Gable was always known for, like, his hand fighting, his yeah. cardio. Mm -hmm. um, like, you look at, like, the guy's name. Like, I grew up in an era where guys, like, um, I admired was, like, Tom and Terry Brands, mm -hmm. Troy and Terry Steiner, like, that Iowa mentality type of wrestling. So, yeah. like, that hard-nosed hand fight in your face type of uh, mentality. But I didn't learn that until, like, later, towards the end of my wrestling career. And mm -hmm. I think that opened up a whole new era for me. Because not only was I really good at finesse wrestling, where I was slick and fancy, and I could hit from the outside and shoot because I was fast, mm -hmm. but when I mixed hand fighting with that, it made the takedowns even way more easier at that point. Because not only was I slick, but I could hand fight and brawl, mm -hmm. and I could make them tired, and once you make them tired, then you could score at will at that point, yeah. and break guys mentally. Yeah. You can break somebody, I mean, case in point, your last ADCC, right? Yeah, uh, with yeah. with uh, Pino, you you broke him from hand fighting. Yeah. Like I remember the first two minutes, he was so tired. Yeah. He was like starting to point and to the ref, like he's 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 hand fight. He's like yeah. slapping me, and, <laughs> like crying basically. And yeah. it was like, but you broke him just from hand fighting. Yeah. That made even the other the other ADCC when I fought Kalaza, mm -hmm. hand fighting cyborg. breaks people. Like it literally breaks yeah. people, but it takes a lot of resources from you as well though. And that's why I trained you guys so hard. Yeah. So that way, not only can you hand fight good, but your, your cardio is going to be there too. Yeah, yeah. And if you need to hand fight for a 20-minute fight, you can because your cardio is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Most people don't understand it. Even wrestlers don't. Yeah, yeah. So Coach Fred runs the agency camp here at Athos like since 2013. 13, yeah. And I, we, we work together, of course. Like we plan together everything beforehand. And and then like once we plan that, okay, that's what you're gonna do, coach. And then most of the time I regret for the plan that we make because, <laughs> <laughs> because Yeah, you you'd be gone home at first, like you'd be like, Yeah, the first couple of weeks yeah. of camp we start, it'd be like amazing, you'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah and then like towards like the like the third, fourth, fifth week. I'm like, Oh like, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm like, why did I do that?